It's like very much so a leotard. Everybody loves a good bodysuit. They are not up my butt enough. What are you wearing this for? It's so heavenly. It could easily like cut off your circulation in your reproductive areas. What's up you guys and welcome back to Clever Style. Today, we are getting back to the basics. We are doing a sizing video with bodysuits. This one's gonna be just like a little bit interesting. You know why I am so hesitant, skeptical, thinking, you know. It parts the Red Sea. Bodysuits are classic, and when they got popular, they got real popular. Everybody loves a good bodysuit because you can wear it in so many different ways. It's so versatile, you can wear it by itself, you can wear it as a layering piece. It's really fun, it's a whole thing. I'm excited, I'm scared. We're gonna try bodysuits from four different stores, Fashion Nova, Shein, Nordstrom, and Amazon. And we're really just going to get down to the sizing facts. How do they fit? Do they run big, do they run small? What should you know when you're shopping? And the best thing about bodysuits is that it's flattering for every type of body. Every time I think of a bodysuit, I think of the little twin emoji you know with the little with the little legs can you that one <laughs> let's get our wedgies on okay you guys first up i am in the fashion nova bodysuit which is 19.99 i feel like it's a very good price um, and it's your basic black bodysuit. So it's like like a little diapy situation, a diaper. So I'm wearing a size small, which is the size I typically wear, but I'm 5'7". And the thing with bodysuits is like a jumpsuit. If you're tall, it could easily like cut off your circulation in your reproductive areas. The material is very stretchy, which I love. It gives you a lot of room if um, maybe it is a little too tight on you, you have that extra stretch. Um, it is a plunging neckline, so if you want your cleavage to be exposed, Fashion Nova is definitely a place to shop when you want the girls to be out. So I feel like it fits really well actually. It's high-waisted. It is like really, really nice and flattering, I think, in all the right places, except for right here. It's just a little bit big right here. Um, I am wearing a bra, obviously, because it's a V-neck. So I have like, what am I, like a B cup. So this is padded just because the top is a little bit looser. So if you have smaller chesties like I do, it is a little bit like, do you have to wear a pad bra every time you wanna wear this to make it look good or to make it look like you're filling it out? Because that would be kind of a bummer. Positives of this, uh, it is comfortable. It's not super see-through. I like the material, it's, it's, it feels stretchy, but it'll snap back into place. My only issue is it does feel like it's falling here and that my bra really wants to peek out. It's just a little like, like loose and floppy. Yeah, for $19.99, I think this is totally fair. Would I recommend? Yes, but if you are 5'7 <laughs> and you wear a size small, go up a size, go up to a medium because your crotch will hate you. <laughs> so I love this bodysuit. I think it's great quality. I think it fits very well. I definitely recommend it for 20 bucks for a nice black long sleeve shirt that you can pair with anything is amazing. Maybe size down if you are bigger here and smaller here. If you're bigger here, I think this probably would fit you well. But for my body type, I wear a 36B bra. This is too big up here. If there's anything I would change about it, it would be just to have this be a little bit more fitted the same way it is throughout the rest of it, you know? I just want it to fit all the way up and throughout and not have it be like so perfect right here and just be missing, just missing a little extra oomph in the chest. <laughs> So this bodysuit is from Nordstrom, and I am obsessed. Oh my gosh, okay. When I think Nordstrom, I automatically think uh, expensive, but quality, right? Well, this feels like a quality bodysuit that is not that expensive. I think $39 is very reasonable. First of all, material is the best. I think it's 
comfortable. I'm not having any crotch issues in your reproductive areas. I, it doesn't like completely cover my butt, but it's not a thong and I prefer it to be a thong because again, what's it called a panty line situation, but I feel like this one would be okay because it's like, it's not super thick. It's like, like panties, you know, you know what I mean? The material is honestly so heavenly. It feels so good on your body and there's all this extra stretch. There is so much stretch. I feel like my first impression of it, again, is just how incredibly soft it is. And I also noticed the quality, like immediately, you do get what you pay for. I do think it also fits the best up here. It is the most uh, flattering and it feels like tight, but again, not too tight at all. And it does like fit really nicely. It's really stretchy. But is it true to size? I say yes. You're definitely like, if you if you wear the same size as I do, you're gonna be comfortable. And if you're 5'7", it will look like this on you. I just love this so much. I think this is true to size. It is expensive, but worth it. Not overly expensive, just the right amount of expensive. I think in terms of like sizing, like these are pretty damn good, you guys. I'm really impressed. Okay, you guys, now I am in the Amazon pick. It is $17.99, and I feel like the most like the twin emoji in this one. How do I feel about this? I feel the most like dancer-esque in this, you know? It's like very much so a leotard. Honestly, I think it looks incredible on. I love this detail where it kind of looks like the shoulders are a little bit square. I love the, um, the neckline on this one. I think it's just super flattering. But the material of the jumpsuit is that like really cheap material. It's papery, it's not very comfortable. There's also weird areas on this bodysuit that I feel like are just bad fits, to be honest with you. Like in the armpit, I don't know what's happening here. And I, it's again, it's the material, like it's really hard to like, maneuver it properly. So here there's a lot of weird like extra fabric and if you try to like pull it in, it doesn't really work. And then there is that gap again. It's not as bad as the Fashion Nova one, but mm, no, it's pretty bad actually. So there is that gap right there too. And then there's also weird fabric like extra right here. And then there's also weird fabric that's extra like in the hip area. Yet the arms are so tight. Like, I just think it's kind of a bad fit. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I would recommend this one, to be honest with you. It's not see-through. You can't see my bra shining underneath, which is nice. Um, it's still, a, a you know, it's under $20. So that is my price range. And it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart or stretch out and become unwearable. This, like the Nordstrom one, feels like it could last until bodysuits are, are no longer in style. Yeah, material's not the best. It's not true to size, yet I really love it. And $17.99 is obviously a really good price point for this jumpsuit. So yeah, I don't know how I feel. It's very confusing. I'm into this. This this one and the Nordstrom bodysuit are the most true to size. Is it true to size? I think absolutely yes. I think this is a really good bodysuit for $17.99 because honestly, like the material is really good and it's not that far off from the Nordstrom one. So I'm not mad at this at all. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna pick my favorite. The next bodysuit is from Shein. It's $9, which is honestly a steal, but you pay for what you get, or you get what you pay for. This has that material of those like white tees or black tees that you get. It has that like V neck line. It's very thin material. You could honestly just uh, even see my bra. It's very see through. But again, it's $9, so you don't really expect like the best quality. I will say I love the fabric. It's very soft, and then you have that stretchy material, which is great. We interrupt this broadcast for a quick message. Um, so for this next section, I was sent the wrong bodysuit, which is fine. It happens, you know? So please enjoy me reviewing uh, this bodysuit that we believe is from Pretty Little Thing. So I have lots of things happening here. Um, first of all, this was not intentional. This right here, um, it legit is just a, a hole. I don't know if it's intentional. I'm assuming it's supposed to show off your bra because do you see how literally if the bra wasn't there, it would be straight up areola? Or maybe you're supposed to wear a shirt under it. The pros, okay? It's comfortable material. I like the V-neck. It's not like choking 
my lady bits, that is a pro. However, here's the cons, all right? So this is a high cut bodysuit, which is like, if you've ever seen bikinis, where they, they sit up high and they make your legs look really long and they're very flattering. In theory, that is a, is a great is a great idea. However, that means that it is so high cut that you can see my side. All right, so I thought that the Fashion Nova bodysuit was high-waisted. Um, what are you wearing this for? I mean, it's hot. Okay, so aside from the freakishly high waist, uh, this bodysuit's great. For $9, I think it's a freaking steal. Maybe that's why it's $9, because they didn't use as much fabric. Oh, that makes so much sense. Yeah, for sure. I still don't know if we're supposed to be wearing pants. Let's find out if everybody else is wearing pants or not. Let's call Jackie, let's see. Jackie, I need to know if I'm wearing pants. <sighs> Jackie. It's too much for me, but it's it's a very sexy bodysuit. You have the plunging neckline, and then you have these cutouts right here. I think you have to have like streetwear style for this with the cutouts. It's definitely a particular look. Yeah, if we pulled it down, made it tighter in the crotch, see that problem goes away. Okay, huh, all right, so this maybe runs big. I definitely thought I was going to be saying that things were too small and too up my butt, when in fact they are not up my butt enough. Who knew? So overall, like I'm really happy with the way this fits. And you know, for an extra small, this is kind of perfect. I don't feel like it's too tight. It's really, really flattering and it also makes me feel incredibly comfortable. Okay you guys, this is my favorite bodysuit of the day. This is the one that had the gaping hole, but I put a camisole under it. I like this one. I like it because it's comfy and I like the neckline. You can do so much with that. You can have your mountains out, you can have them covered. It's like a whole thing. I wouldn't say any of these completely knocked my socks off. I would recommend whichever one you liked the neckline on because other than that, they all pretty much fit the same and ex with the exception of the first one, that Fashion Nova one was disrespectful to my crotch in your reproductive areas. This one's my favorite. It was the one from Amazon. Why is it my favorite? Because it's like the worst quality, but it's my favorite because I think it looks, it's just very flattering. I love the shape of it with the shoulders and the V-neck. Uh, v um, what I learned too is we pretty much tried on the same exact bodysuit from all of uh, these different stores. And what I learned is, honestly, material is everything. This bodysuit's gonna be up your butt all day and it's gonna be all on your body, like your full body. So you wanna be comfortable. All right, so the one from Amazon is my favorite. I almost picked the Nordstrom one, but when I think about which top I wanna go get five more colors in, I can't really do that at Nordstrom at that price point. But this being under $20, I could go get in several colors and probably will get in several colors. So Amazon wins because of price, but Amazon and Nordstrom were both super true to size, uh, the most form flattering, fitted, everything you want a bodysuit to be. If your body type is similar to mine, which is smaller up top and bigger on the bottom, then I think you would be very comfortable with the Nordstrom and Amazon bodysuits. All right, so my favorite's definitely the Shein bodysuit. It's honestly the softest. I really like it. I think it fits the best up here too, and that's like a huge relief for people with smaller boobs because I feel like if, even if I wasn't wearing a padded bra, I think it would still fit really nicely because this is nice and tight. You know, it's fitted the way it should be. I'm still a little bit confused as to what the hell I'm gonna wear this with, but you know, we'll deal with it. We'll problem solve, we'll figure it out, or maybe I'll just wear it and feel good about myself because I think it's pretty sexy. But you guys, what should we try on next? What should we size out next? Then please click right over here to watch even more Clever Style. Also recommendations for what to wear this with would be greatly appreciated.